Today marks exactly one year since I've been traveling the world full time. I have been lucky to do this because of my job. Well, to be honest, it's not just a job, it's more of a lifestyle. No weekends, no holidays, missed birthday parties. I'm not gonna lie, it's not always a Pinterest fantasy as it might seem from pictures and videos, but definitely an amazing experience for young people. So here is a very brief sum up of 2023. Some adventures, recommendations, shocking and memorable moments, some uh, exotic foods I got to try, my favorite hotel room view, probably the favorite destination where I would like to return to, places that surprised and disappointed me, oh and the favorite advice I received in 2023. So lately I get asked a lot what destination or what trip or what tour would I recommend. So last year I did a wine and gastro tour on mainland Portugal. It started in Porto and then we were just driving up by the Douro river, crossing some very local villages. It was basically about visiting wine cellars and a very nice restaurant. So it was an interesting concept for me when everything is just so much about food and wine. And I love Portugal. It's a beautiful country. That's something I would recommend. Then something adventurous. I would say that was in Morocco when we were around 15 kilometers uh, from the borders with Algeria. Now that is a bit of an adventurous place. There is literally nothing but there is a lot of history. I like the concept of borders especially on places where it's a bit controversial and except of that I also did the city of Guayaquil in Ecuador. It's known as the most dangerous city in Ecuador. Now in the past days there have been some crazy things going on in Guayaquil. But if we are talking about dangerous things, I also came across some apparently dangerous spiders in the Amazonia. I went oh. to the Peruvian wow. Amazonia and we did a jungle tour during the night with a local guide and that was something amazing. Now, now on to the next point, some food I did not really like. It's really funny because I eat everything. I never really had a problem with food but Mexico was the first country where me and the food were just not really vibing. Now some memorable moments. That was breaking a personal record and hiking to an altitude of 5400 meters above sea level. It was in Bolivia. Now that was something quite challenging, especially because of the altitudes, I would say. Those altitudes can really have an impact on your body and also on your mind. I did this hike several times and now the funny thing is that in these altitudes you never really know how your body reacts. Like one week I was okay and then two weeks later the same hike, the same diet, the same altitude, doing everything the same way, I was just not okay. So this is just like very funny how um, the altitudes uh, can mess with your body and your mind and the impact they actually uh, have on you. Also a very memorable moment was the Iguazu waterfalls. Now there was an incident right when the waterfalls were closed because the water was just too high and uh, we came like two weeks after this incident. So when we arrived the water was extremely high and I would say that the coolest moment about visiting the waterfalls was uh, taking the helicopter helicopter about the waterfalls. Uh, now we saw it from the side of Argentina and also from the Brazilian side. I personally prefer the Brazilian side. It's just more open and you see the waterfalls more. Now the favorite hotel room view. It was in Bolivia. We stayed in the city center of La Paz. So I got a hotel room on the 14th floor and it was insane because La Paz is located in a valley and the houses extend to the hills. So it was an amazing sight. I think up until now this is my favorite hotel room view. Ever. They basically gave me an apartment with two bathrooms, a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen. There were huge windows. Unfortunately, we only stayed for two nights, but it kind of felt like in this fancy 
movies. Any exotic food I tried. I tried chapulines in Mexico or also dates with camel milk in Morocco or chicha. Chicha is a fermented corn beer. Then a place that surprised me that was El Salvador. I was not really expecting anything from El Salvador. I also did not know anything about El Salvador but I just really liked the vibes of the country and I will be back there next month so I am very very excited. El Salvador surprised me in a very positive way and now I'm going to connect this to something that shocked me because when I was in Mexico I went to visit a cemetery. So Mexico is known for Dia de los Muertos which is the day of the dead people so I just wanted to see a cemetery and apparently in some parts of Mexico before Dia de los Muertos they opened the grave and they take out the coffin and they clean it. So this was something we saw and we came across an open grave and an open coffin. Now my favorite advice they gave me in the Peruvian highlands. So there was a lady who told me that we should take a lot of pictures of ourselves everywhere you go because when you are actually visiting the places and you are working there or you're just like passing by as a tourist things happen very very fast and most of the times we don't even realize where are we standing at. It happened to me, for example, I went to Machu Picchu six times uh, the last year and I never really had the time to realize that I am actually standing in front of Machu Picchu. So the sixth time I went there, I asked a lady to take a picture of me and I think it works and I think she was right because when I came back home and I actually had time to sit down with myself, go through with pictures, that was the moment that it actually hit me like wow I went to Machu Picchu which had been one of my dreams since I was a kid. Now I also wanted to list something authentic but I'm going to transform this a little bit and I'm going to mention a very authentic community I came across in Morocco. It was in the village of Camellia where black people from Africa from the Nawa tribe originating from sub-Saharan countries like Sudan or Mali they were forcibly moved in the past from their homelands across the Sahara to Morocco as part of the worldwide slave trade. This is a long story and it's definitely not just about this but uh, that was something very very authentic I came across last year. Now something that got stuck in my mind was feeding hummingbirds in Ecuador in the cloud forest. Uh, I love Ecuador, I want to go back to Ecuador and the countryside of Ecuador is just so beautiful. And let's do the last one, the favorite city I visited. I don't normally like cities, so last year I visited a lot of big cities starting from Mexico City to Rio de Janeiro and Santiago de Chile or Buenos Aires. But my favorite one was Lima, the capital city of Peru, especially one neighborhood that is called uh, Miraflores. I just loved it. That was also the part of Lima where I lived. It is basically on the cliff, so there is an amazing view to the ocean. There are a lot of very nice, cute bars and restaurants, and uh, it's just a modern part of Lima. So that was last year, very briefly. I spent most of the year in Central and South America. And right now I'm sitting in my car on San Miguel on the Azores. I came back to the Azores after the holidays. I spent the holidays in Slovakia. So yes, that's it. If there is any memorable or shocking or fun moment you guys did in 2023. And also if anyone here likes Mexican food, then let me know your favorite Mexican food. I'm going to try to change this problem of mine with Mexican food. Okay, have a good day friends and see you next time.